Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna make another YouTube video! <laughs> and the recipe is for MORTON! <laughs> Sorry, as I was saying, yesterday we're gonna cook mutton and it's mutton curry. To be specific, yes, mutton curry. <laughs> Let him see it. <laughs> now, the first thing we need, obviously, for this mutton curry is mutton. Since I come from a family of five, I use 569 grams of mutton. And remember to cut it into edible pieces, and you can use how much you want. Now obviously, the second thing you need for this recipe is ginger and garlic, the most common aromatic in every- <laughs> So, the third ingredient is obviously red onion. A big red onion, the one you see in the market. So chop it up and you're gonna use it to cook with the mutton. Okay guys, now I'm going to go to my dying hold on, let me rephrase that. Your dying garden and get some fresh coriander. Then after getting the coriander, get a bowl of mint leaves. It's good for your teeth. And for garlic breath. Okay, now get a personal assistant like my personal assistant in the video and to prepare a powder mix. So, what you need is first is two tablespoons of coriander powder. Then add one tablespoon of cumin powder. <laughs> then add two tablespoons of mutton curry masala. Not the kind of masala, okay? Don't try masala. Now add one table. You know what? Enough with the drama. Just add one tablespoon of garam masala. Then add two tablespoons of chili powder and then mix it up. And then done. So okay guys, now it's time to marinate the mutton. First, I'm gonna add the powder. Okay, then I'm gonna add the herbs. Now, get your personal assistant to prepare two cinnamon sticks, three star anise, six to seven cloves, and obviously six cardamoms and stand by for yogurt ghee and lemon then some mint leaves some onion and some onion garlic and ginger and of course Coriander. Okay, now I'm gonna add in some yogurt. I'm using this brand, Lactel. And I'm gonna add one tablespoon of yogurt. Then 
then some oil a tablespoon of oil done and I forgot one more ingredient lemon squeeze it well and let all the juice come out and mix well Okay, now leave the meat to marinate for 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, now time to cook the marinated mutton. First, turn on the gas and put your wok and pour in some oil. Then add in two tablespoons of ghee now the oil is very hot like a hot volcano you can add in the marinated meat keep on stirring the meat After 10 minutes, add a bit of water. Add this much of water. Mix well. Okay, now I'm going to add in a bit of salt. And just to tell you, um, you it's up. You can also put in more salt if you want. Uh, it's your choice. Okay, now I've let the meat cook for thirty minutes. It's time to try it. Bon appetit! Juicy and tender, just the way I like it. Beautiful flavor. Mmm. All that spices. Mmm, all that flavor is coming through. Mmm, so delicious. Guys, this is the perfect recipe just for you. Look at the meat, guys. Isn't it tasty? Yes, I know what you're feeling. The temptation to eat it right now. Right now, before your eyes. Yes, guys, I know. I'm, I'm having that feeling too. But my mom is beside me right now, holding the rota and ready to whack me if I take it now. I must eat it for dinner lah. So, I cannot touch it right now. So, guys, you want to know the story of how I got my mutton? I'll tell you how. So, one day, I went to the grocery store. And so happened, there was no mutton. I demanded from the shop manager to give me my mutton. And he said they were out of stock. So you know what I did? I did the most insane thing of my life. I decided to go to the farm and try to strangle a goat and drag it back to my home. But it never happened. You know why? Because so happened, the farmer has a shotgun. He could have shot off my legs. Just like how you see in video games. And then I decided I might as well find some wild goats in the mountains. So I took a bus. I went to the furthest land in Malaysia. That so happened. I found a humongous mountain. Large as a pimple. And there I hiked for three days. And I almost died due to the lack of oxygen. But then I found my goal. I found the wild goat covered in golden horns and a pink tail 
and then I took it, I strangled it, snapped its neck, and I brought it down, and then I cooked it. It was very tasty, you know. And guess what I found inside its belly? I found an iPhone.